Hey coach, Jason here with Arm Pitching Development. Amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge by hitting the subscribe button for me. So in tonight's video, we're gonna cover how to strengthen, stabilize, and mobilize your shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna use the J-bands. Uh, I have a modified circuit that we're gonna cover tonight. It won't take too long. I'm gonna try to chop it up three or four movements a piece per exercise. This is something you can do every day. You can do it multiple days a week, three, four, whatever you wanna do. It's not gonna kill you to do it. I encourage you to get up, get out, get your uh, shoulders strengthened up. These things is a great tool. We're using the J bands tonight. So we're gonna cut through here and uh, go over the exercises. All right, so as we go into uh, the workout here, one thing I wanna be mindful of is where the clip placement is on the J band. Uh, I don't want to keep it face height. I want to keep it around shoulder height or mid midsection. Try to stay away from the higher clip section. So if you have a fence line or something, just run it there about your shoulder height. So the first one we're going to do is a uh, forward fly. So one thing that's important is keeping the cup, cups on for freedom of movement and range of motion. There's not that added uh, restriction or constriction to the uh, to the hands when you put it on there and you're feeling your wrist overload the workout. This gives us a little more freedom of movement. So when you go into these exercises, try to have a more uh, athletic stance to you, a more uh, athletic posture, okay? So on forward flies, it's just gonna be here and return. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a reverse fly. So you'll just be pulling back on the bench here and get in the back side of your shoulder. Okay, we're gonna stay with the back. We're gonna do some reverse scat pulls. Okay, coming back to the front side, we're gonna do some forward rotations with the shoulders. Keep your elbows up, elevate, bring it down. One, two, Try to stay nice and controlled with the band. And then we're gonna do the reverse on that and do the pullbacks. Right here. Okay, so we're going into side circles next. So it'll be out front, just nice, tight, small circles. You might run it for about 30 seconds or so, and then be done with that exercise. Okay, so once you get off the side circles, we're gonna go to front circles and we're gonna kinda go off in a wax off pattern. So on the next one, I'm gonna actually clip it down a little bit and get it more around my waistline. This is called a reverse jump back, or a jump back reverse. So what we're doing essentially is coming up into a throwing posture here, or kind of a, some sort of arm up angle here. And then we're gonna jump back, uh, we're stretching the band here this and then from this point we're going to take a nice slow controlled movement out from the hips bringing the arm through and resisting the urge for my arm to just fly forward okay this one's going to be a little more difficult than the other ones but in terms of arm health and uh, stability and strength that's a great exercise for you guys to build in that's the jump back reverse so we're keeping the clip down on the uh, fence line. We're gonna do some more uh, hip work, some more hip rotation stuff. We're gonna come out to more of a pitching split stance here, uh, power stance, and we're gonna get our hands out and then we're going to do what I call the core round. So we're gonna be working the core and bring the hips around, kind of working internal, external hip rotation. And you'll feel it in your obliques pretty well. All right, so we're gonna bring the clip back up to our shoulder lines. We're gonna do a forward fly with uh, our hands in an L90 position, back into your uh, split stance, and then you'll bring your elbows in and back, kind of pinch your shoulder blades together and back. Now we're gonna hit the reverse side on the L90 fly. So we'll be pulling back on the band, so we come in and then pinch your shoulder blades together and then return. All right, so now we're gonna go into some tricep work here. Just bring your hands together, keep your elbows in elevated over your head, and we're gonna uh, bring our hands out forward here and try to burn the triceps out as fast as possible. All right, on this next one, I'm gonna clip down. We're gonna do some snow skiers. 
So we're pulling back on the bands. On this one, I like to have a little more neutral hip posture uh, stance. Kind of bring your, uh, bring your chest up and then we're gonna bring the bands back and keep your hands tight and in. And you'll feel it right around your terrace minor. All right, so while we're at it and we're clipped down, we're gonna go ahead and hit our biceps as well. So you'll just kind of keep your elbows in here, curl up and back. Again, you know, just as many as you wanna do with them or you can do a time limit, doesn't really matter. Staying with the low clip, we're gonna do some reverse Ys, okay? So go back to your power, your power stance here. We're gonna come up and make a Y and then return. I'm gonna clip up for the next one. Again, shoulder height. We're gonna do some shoulder raises. Uh, call it here and back into your power stance. Come back up and through. Try to keep your elbows uh, out and away from you a little bit here. Pinch your shoulder blades together when you return. Push out, push up, back through. All right, so that's our workout for tonight in terms of strength, stability, mobility in your shoulder. That's a fantastic workout if you'll do, you know, 12, 15 reps a piece or even, you know, 30, 45 seconds a piece. You guys will really have the benefits. You do that every day of the week or at least three to four days a week, you guys will be popping velocity in no time, right? So anyways, I uh, hope you like the content we shoot here at Arm Pitching Development. If you have a question or comment, go ahead and drop that down below for us. If you uh, like what we shoot here, go ahead and give us a thumbs up at the end. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to see more tips, drills, exercises, and workouts from me and Coach Josh. We'll see you guys next time.